In this video, I'm going to do some print tests from Canva and I actually printed all of these pieces out and I'm going to zoom in on them later and show you how they printed and a bunch of the different settings and how they might change the way that things print. So I'm an invitation designer, which means printing is almost more important <laughs> than designing when it comes to my work for my clients. If you are doing this as um, a career, or if you're just printing kind of one-off, I'm going to give you some print shop recommendations as well as the settings that I would use in Canva to print things with the best quality. This is one area where Canva kind of falls short because they don't have some of the options that make printing really easy. And in general, Canva is a little bit more designed for digital work than for printed work, but let's see how it all comes out anyway. So I'm going to use this design, which is one of my designs, and then this one, which is a template, save the date from inside of Canva. I have another video where I showed you how to edit this whole thing if you're interested in doing that for your own wedding. When you're ready to print something, you'll just click share, and you can print with Canva, and this is something that they do pretty good quality work. They don't have a lot of the options that I would like as a wedding invitation designer, um, and I think a lot of people who are using Canva are doing it to maybe save costs. So there's a lot of other um, print shops you can use, and I'll show you how to do this if you're not printing directly through Canva. So you would just click on download, and then you'll get a bunch of different options. So we have um, JPEG and PNG. We also have PDF Standard, which is good for like documents, and then PDF Print, which is best for printing. So all this to say, this is my favorite setting and I'll show you, I did a couple like PNGs and PDF standards and I can show you the difference when it comes to printing them. Now I don't want to get too confusing. I do have a whole other video on bleed, but bleed basically means when a design goes off the edge of the paper. So for instance, in this one, you do want that brown to print all the way up to the edge of the paper. So you will need a bleed on this design. In this design, nothing goes to the edge of the paper. So we technically don't need a bleed. However, if you're using any of the print shop recommendations that we have or any real print shop, a lot of them do require adding a bleed. So if you have a five by seven card like this, you would want your final file size to actually be 5.25 by 7.25, which means there's an eighth of an inch bleed on all four sides. Just as an example, Prince of Love, which is one of my favorite printers, if you're just doing this like one-off just for your invitations, they're extremely well-priced, come with free envelopes, and I'll link them in the description. I would love if you would use my link. It would help me provide more content like this. So you can see here, they actually need that one eighth bleed space, just like I was mentioning, but then they actually do not need crop marks in your artwork. So one thing I wish Canva would do was separate crop marks and bleed. And I'll show you in a minute why it can be weird that they aren't connected. But if you do need that bleed, you will have to um, click this option. Another option would be designing any files that need a bleed at 5.25 inches and putting the bleed in the native file. And then when you download it, you don't need to click that option. So then you wouldn't have crop marks or bleed. But I wish they just had this option where you could do bleed but not crop marks personally. So flattening the PDF, I didn't see a lot of like print difference when I did this, um, but flattening PDF is really important. And that's because it will basically take all the elements and text and kind of imprint it where it is versus leaving it somewhat editable. So I opened this one that was not flattened in Adobe Illustrator, and you can see that my font is giving me a little bit of an error. The pink means that it's an error because I don't have this cursive font that I used for Olivia and Daniel here. So this cute little font over here, I don't have it on my computer. And so I'm getting an error here. And depending on what program they use to open it, your print shop might not see that as an error. They might just go ahead and print it as is. And if they don't have those fonts installed, it might print weird. Also, some of your elements could potentially move around if you don't flatten the PDF. So it's really important when downloading these for prints that we always flatten the PDF. And then notes in general, when you're printing, you won't want notes, but that's up to you. Now I have a whole other video on RGB versus CMYK and why this makes a difference, but the biggest thing here is RGB is great for anything on a screen. If you're sending this as an evite or a text message, go with RGB. If you are trying to print it, you'll want to go with CMYK. And Canva wants you to print through them. So they have CMYK as a feature that's only available on their pro plan. 
If you like this video and found it helpful, I would love if you would use my link in the description to sign up for your pro plan. Uh, I'm always going to have that because CMYK printing is so important to me and my business. So I'm always going to download everything in CMYK. You can see in the artwork guidelines for Prince of Love, then all files should be sent in CMYK. Any in RGB may experience color shifting. I'll show you that in a minute. And then all files submitted in RGB are automatically converted to CMYK. So then I'm going to select CMYK. So these are my favorite download settings to print from Canva. Okay, we have the PDF print file type. We have our crop marks and bleed, flattening our PDF, and then CMYK. Always going to be the color space. So we'll go ahead and download that. And what I did was I changed the names on the invitation to a few different settings. So for instance, this particular one I did as print PDF, but I did it in RGB to show you that difference. Um, and I did the same thing over here with this one, which again is a template directly from Canva. So I downloaded a bunch of different options and I'll show you the next thing that you have to do uh, before printing just because of that kind of crop mark and bleed combo issue. If you were to open these in Adobe Illustrator like I have here, then you have artboards, which are different pages of your design. And those are uh, these gray outlines. And then the bleed is shown by the outline in red and you're always going to want your design to extend to the bleed line so you don't just want the piece to end at the artboard and then you have this blank space up here you actually want that your design to extend all the way up to that red line i have another video on this i don't want to get too far into it <laughs> so this video doesn't get too complicated uh, but it's just in general anything that goes off the edge of the paper should go all the way to that red line but what we're seeing here is the ones with crop marks are a little bigger so this one is 5.4733 by 7.4733 which is kind of weird um and then this one is even a slightly different size so it's 5.4724 so these were downloaded with pretty much the same size settings and yet they're slightly different. So if I tried to upload both of these together, my print shop would say, hey, these are different sizes. Um, so that's a little weird thing about Canva that I don't exactly know how to explain. Either way, they are too big for either of the print shops that I would recommend to accept. So if you are printing something just kind of one off and you don't want to do this as a business, then I would absolutely recommend Prints of Love. If you use the link in the description of this video, I would really appreciate it. It would help me out. And then my other favorite printer is called Princewell Fulfillment. And I have a ton of videos on them here on my channel. Uh, if you are trying to do this from a wholesale perspective and work with a lot of clients, then you can sign up for an account with Princewell Fulfillment. And if you use my link, you get $25 off your first order. But neither of them will accept something that's supposed to be five by seven. If the file is 5.4733 by 7.4733. So we do have to get rid of um, those crop marks and that's why I kind of wish that Canva would let you download with bleeds but not with crop marks. But hey, we don't always get what we want. So something that you can do is just select all of your artboards and change them to your final cut size which is five by seven here. And then if you do have the bleed set up correctly, you'll see um, that it works out perfectly. That design goes to the edge of the red line and then the crop marks are gone. If you don't have your bleeds set up, you can go into document setup and just add them here and it will add that red line in the exact right place. And then that's what the file that you can actually submit. So you'll see our crop marks are now outside of the red line, which means they won't be included in the final file. And we'll just center everything up on these artboards. And then this is the file that we should be able to print out with any of our printers. So I printed these with Printswell Fulfillment. Again, I'll have both the printers I recommend linked in the description. And let's dive over to our hand cam. I'll show you how they turned out and how the different settings affected the print quality. All right, I got my print results from my printer and they look really good. Um, this one was a print PDF and it was not flattened versus the one that was flattened. And as you can see, there's really no difference in the print quality. I wasn't super surprised by this, but again, flattening will help make sure that none of the text or elements move around if your printer does open it in a different program or if you open it in a different program outside of Canva. So I wouldn't say it makes a print difference. However, 
it can make a very big difference <laughs> in what actually gets printed. So it's a good idea to always do a print PDF and flatten. This one is RGB versus CMYK. And I don't see a big difference here. However, I'll show you on the other one that there is a little bit of a difference. So can you see this? Um, basically these three printed a slight different colorway than this one. So there was a little bit of that color shift. These two were printed in RGB and these three were printed in CMYK. And I, I don't know if it's coming fully through on screen. Um, and it's not huge in real life either, but there is a difference here. And there are some colors that look really good in RGB, especially really bright, like neon colors that just aren't available in the print CMYK spectrum. So if you have had trouble printing super bright colors, um, that's probably why it's just because everything is converting to CMYK and it's not, um, it's those colors just kind of can't be printed very well on regular printers unless you use like a special type of ink. So always I would print in CMYK if you can, because there can be some color shifting with RGB, although this wasn't too crazy. I could definitely see examples where it would be a little crazy. And the last thing here where there was pretty big difference is your print PDF versus your standard PDF. So let me focus real quick. And you can probably see that these elements are significantly blurrier than the more crisp options on this side. So definitely that standard PDF option is not going to print as high quality as the print PDF option. And we'll see over here if there's much of a difference. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference, but there is definitely more blurriness in the photo than there is, I'm not even sure if that will come through on screen, but there's definitely more blurry softness here, especially kind of in my face, than there is on the print PDF option. I think in general, the text looks really good on both. So perhaps if you are just doing a text design, you won't notice much of a difference, but with the PNG elements, you can absolutely see a difference. Lastly on this one, I just wanted to show you the difference between this one, which was printed from Adobe Illustrator, where I originally designed it, and this one that was printed from Canva. So you can see there's a little bit of lightning up here that there isn't in the one that was originally designed on um, Illustrator. Th these are a little darker, and I think there's more depth in these than there is in here. In general, the RGB one looks very similar, and this looks like the difference between CMYK and RGB to me. So because Canva is an RGB platform and you're designing on screen, even if you download it technically in CMYK, you're still gonna get some of that color shifting and you can see like in these really deep dark leaves, uh, there definitely is more crispness and dimension in the ones that are designed in Adobe Illustrator. Although it's not to say that the ones in Canva look bad. Some of you might even prefer this, um, but this is more true to the original colors that this was designed in. Now let's look at this one. The main thing I'd like to show you here is what happens when you have no crops or bleed. So what happens with this is it tries to print exactly five by seven, but the printers don't print on five by seven paper. They print on larger paper and cut down. And so when you cut the paper down, you might have a little bit of shift. They always say like one sixteenth or one thirty second inch of shift is considered normal. And you can see it's different between even these two pieces. So what happens is you didn't cut the exact five by seven on this and now you have that white line. So that's why we always said to uh, take that bleed design and extend it the full eighth of an inch so that no matter where within that eighth of an inch they cut, uh, you will not have any of those issues. So we don't have any of those white lines on these pieces. So that's really what a bleed is going to get you. And then the crop marks will show you basically where to cut um, to get to five by seven. So if you are printing yourself and cutting down, then you might like the crop marks. Uh, it's just that I was ordering from my print shop and they do the cutting for me so they don't need the crop marks.
This is again the flattening and the no flattening. Didn't really see much of a difference here. Um, in general, I would say that this image is a little blurrier than what I would expect. I did check the resolution of this on Photoshop and at this size it's about um, 200. So it's not the most crisp image. You typically want them to be 300 pixels per inch or more. Um, so definitely I could upload a slightly higher resolution image, um, but this was a little blurrier than I expected, especially on the standard quality PDF print. So I would absolutely do that print PDF. Um, I would use the crop marks and bleed if you have anything that goes to the edge of the paper. That's not something that was an issue with this particular design. And I would always print flattened to avoid any like text issues or movement issues. And then I would always print in CMYK. But overall, I think these designs from Canva printed pretty well. Um, there's a little difference between the Canva print and my standard print shop. A lot of that to me comes from Canva just being an RGB design program. So we're always gonna get a little color differentiation from there to um, Adobe. I hope this video was helpful in figuring out how to print from Canva. These are going to be my favorite settings, PDF print, grab marks and bleed, flatten PDF, and then always in CMYK, which is available on the pro plan. If you want to use my link to get your pro plan or to Prince of Love or Prince of Fulfillment, I would really appreciate it. Those are going to be in the description of this video, um, but I hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful because I know that printing from Canva can be a little bit confusing. While you're here, I have a ton of other videos on using Canva as well as other graphic design tutorials that you might find helpful. Let me know what else you want to see and if I can test out any of the other printing features in Canva for you. Thanks everyone.